Okay, today we're continuing on with Islanders, and let's hop straight over to Island 11. Ooh, okay. So, I guess firstly that's a real problematic location for our um, gold if we want to have um, houses anywhere near it. Now there's a lot of flowers down there, so this is going to be a good location for Shaman and, and my association for my small housing, my like sort of normal houses. And then we can possibly get some masons up on the hills here too. So I'm liking what I'm seeing for, for houses. I have concerns for what I'm seeing for um, mansions, but I wonder if I can build up on this rock off with this guy, work him into that corner, Go there just to get the extra points, go to the brick industry on this one, I'm not super stoked about it, but don't like the, um, the lumberjacks early on. So we can build him that far end. Okay, stop there. Great. Let's break into our city pack. Now hopefully what we can do with this is just accumulate anything. as close as we can without them seeing each other. Get 14 for him. Get 6 for him. He sees 1 or we can get 10. Take the 10. Again we'll try and bring him in as much as we can. Jury is out on where the mansions go. I mean, up here I feel would be where I should put my fields. I guess the question is, can these guys? Oh, they, wow! It just knocks out that that brick. Okay, so that's that's much more manageable. I mean, that opens up a huge more amount of space. We can get rid of that too. Okay, so <laughs> the it's a little bit more. Easy. Now, the city centre down here is already going to make a bit more money for me. But even up here, he's, he's going to do alright. So I'm going to start up here. But the tricky thing is I want a manch, uh, a temple, I guess, it's going to have to fit up here somewhere too. So, it's, sort of, it's going to have to be somewhere... Yeah, I'm not sure about planting this guy right next to the gold because that does limit one side of him to, to not be usable. Okay, so there's our city center that we can have down here. Now that rock, not going to afford us the same luxury the other one is. Um, put him on this edge because I think the shaman won't like him if I do get shaman going down there. There's nowhere to really get a lot of good points out of that next seaweed farm, so we'll just take what we can get. Uh, the mason's quite happy though. And he can be very close to the ground. And 10 there is quite good. Close to the. What can we get? 14. Is it worth the... Uh... Yeah, I'd say so. Then what we can do is we can try and get some... Nice little quick scoring houses. Now another seaweed farm could be good here. We can turn him. Yeah, we can make some really nice points off him. Get 
these guys to get straight away in there and hugging their town hall. I guess it's shaman, what I really want. And I would actually prefer to um, not build the houses down here until I get them. I don't want to centralize these guys too much. Oh, cool. Well, he loves everything that's below him, so... <laughs> Certainly put him there. Basically, because if we get, when we get a... Not an if, but when we get the Resort Oasis... Um, it will... Um, slide in, slide in. Uh, it won't want to see him, but it'll want to see all the fields. So if we can have him back in those fields, it'll be great. Okay, cool. So there's our first shaman. Now, obviously, he doesn't like the mason. He does like the, the fields down here, though. We can get a good... 31. And that makes another thing in that area that the houses are going to be excited to be built near. Get far enough this way we can get 12 for him. Any of these fields that are going to go up here are all going to just sort of see the other nearby fields. Not too much in an attachment. But we won't get rid of the trees just yet, I think. him up there but again there's not too much room so we'll just build the other things that we've got get those. I generally find we don't get too much more money from mansions either as, as we go along anyway so um, let's see what we can get most we can get is 10 if we sort of sink him nearby, but the amount of value we will get out of him because he's nearby is big. That that's a that's sort of like a an investment that we're putting in him. You can see these these guys here are getting a mason, the statue, the town hall, each other. Um, we can get close enough to him as well. It's going to be even more. So a lot to like in what we've we've got going on down there. Um, we'll take the 15. A lot for him to like. We'll swing him just a little bit further that way. The 17 for him. They don't care about him though, so he doesn't have to be anywhere near him. And we're getting a lot of houses here too, which is definitely a good start for, for the way that we're trying to build. We can slide in that way, sort of. Might be a perfect connection though. We might just go that way. I don't think we're going to get too much for him just yet. 19 up there, 16 down here. I'll just hold on to him for now. Got another field. Another mason as well. He can see those shamans and those other masons. He's not going to be too happy. We'll take that. As long as these guys up here, we can get someone in the vicinity of him. I'm not sure that we can. Well, let's undo that then. Um, revisit our options. So we get six. He's far enough back that the shaman can't see him. Get 10 if we put him in the, the lowlands. Yeah, let's slide him right next to that guy. We can get some houses down there. Yeah, and these guys are going to be too far away, but it's okay. We'll ride the, um, the shaman once these guys can score. And down this way. Let's 
lot of hot collection. Lovely. Box. I generally it seems almost almost every level they've offered me the um. Twenty-five. Probably as good as I'm gonna get. Eighteen. And if we put him here and take that twenty-five, let me get some good points out of the yeah the placement of this guy because he's gonna be right next to two of them. It is funny that they like the seaweed farms, but not the seaweed collectors. Very, um... Funny give and take there. Alright, we might hold on to him for now. Just keep trying to pound in some, uh, some nice points with our housing. The surprise at that rock some objection to leaving while the other ones didn't. That sort of mean that this is being way more separated than I'd like it to be. Okay, now what we can do is have a, just a look at the plateau. Now, the size of that, I mean obviously firstly it's not letting us put it up there. Another one that would be nice to have somewhere down here. It's probably in the water. It would be a nice scorer if we could have it somewhere in the middle here. 33 for there. But. A look of how much of the real estate of it we actually get to maintain if we put it in there. It's not too bad. We'll do that, and then we'll uh, wait to see what we can, what options we get. Because I mean, even if we put a house on that, there, not too great at the moment. I mean, anywhere these houses are going isn't as, as great as I'd like. Another um another shaman on this end would be handy sometime soon. We can't actually get up on the rock. We'll take advantage of that. Tower. Two towers from the get-go. Get another seaweed farm that can see both. Yep. value over that side yet. Down here we can get 32. 32 even if it's up there. But that is one that will get better the longer we can hold on to it. So we'll um we'll try and hold on to it. So if they're not seeing the um city center they're not worth much at all up here at the moment because there's nothing else going on. Give him a park. I think that's only worth one point as well. That's worth two. Slot in a park for him. To position another one somewhere nearby too. There we go, 13 for him there. do cap out at a point where they, they stop being much significance. So we're only 12 down there because it's only the two brickyards. Over here we'll get a bit more because of the, the masons. Yep. 
But even then, uh, actually, if we can get them down here, get the um, seaweed farms too. Just get that tiny bit closer. I will take the 22 for him though. Let's start building this guy. Same logic as the um, fields down here. Well, those fields are worth a fair bit, and also it's quite a good honor there. If we slide him a little bit further this way, it's not worth it because that city center is actually his big value item. So let's just <coughs> plonk him in the middle. Alright, a circus. So if we've got anywhere near enough room to, to squeeze a circus in here. 28. Again, it's not a huge number, but take it. Come in there, it's a nice position for it. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like in this one the uh, the temple's going to give me the real boom uh, that we normally get out of it. Still only 32. 25. Alright, so we'll have to just... Might have to take the 32 just because um, they're a little low on, uh, on points at the moment. I mean, we can get that 32 twice. Right, gold mine. Hopefully, we can get a little bump in our money on this one. The, the houses don't really care about where he's located. So he can be on the far side. He can get 45 all the way up in that corner, which is good if we get a second jewelry store. Uh, then we can put it on this other side. <coughs> Probably should have put this house down for him. This guy will get. Uh, he gains way more for the mansions. That's only five anyway, so it's not really a huge statement dunk. These guys we can get in and get some good points up here, especially when we're getting these nice thin ones. We can find some really good spots for them. So the question for the market is, can we get it on this? Have I left enough space on that to, for him to squeeze in? The answer looks like it's no. There's a lot of stuff he does like down there. So let's see where we can get another plateau. If we had him there, he would be close to most everything. get for him. 30. That's better than that 7 then. <laughs> now we'll 
pull him back up again too. Now I'm doing a bit more ripping up in this one because I think that we're in a bit more danger here of uh, bombing it. Doesn't it, the layout of this one doesn't feel like there's a there's a really nice uh, I guess end game coming. So we've got to uh, we're gonna have to really pick our placements carefully here. Now that. Let's talk about this guy. Now I did have a 21 here. Take that. Almost 19. Houses can just sort of really be the savior. Get him into. Pack him in like sardines. I don't think he's going to be able to fill that gap there. Okay, so here comes our Resort Oasis. Now, the Resort Oasis likes feel. likes parks five points. So at the moment, we can get a, a huge little kick out of him with 82. And we can see the area that he can still we can still play something in uh, that will make him happy. 87, if we can get him in there. So with that in mind, let's push a park right up against that edge there. Ninety-two, if we just back him up a little bit. Beautiful. It's our first real worthwhile hit of the game. Now usually feel like he can get two resort oasis so hopefully we'll see another one pop up but if not hopefully we just keep seeing that just more and more huts just <laughs> stacking on us so uh, at the moment we can get 18 it looks like 18 if we could get another city center and, and put it somewhere up here it'd be a really good good win for that See where we can stick this tavern. 27. Yeah, we'll take that. Get 11 because of the um, tower nearby as well, so we'll certainly take these. Nineteen on that because of that mason there. He's now he's still thirty-four. Still not liking it. Now that guy down the bottom is the one that already got a fountain. At the top we haven't placed one yet. Now the concern with placing there is that we're starting to dig into where we we have the possibility of putting a temple. Temple's going to need about that much space, so we don't really want to build until we can we have the temple as an option and we know where um, where we can and can't place it. In terms of what we're going to get out of this guy, it's pretty minimal at the moment. It's quite disappointing. Uh, we might have to start and do our huts. Even then, I don't think our huts are the the major winners that we've uh, we've seen previously. Go up here for for him. It's a nice little gain. I'm not going to get anything out of those guys. I'm surprised that he won't fit in that gap. He's the trickiest one to, to understand how their placement works. A, um, a wall plateau would really be handy uh, for this city. Sixteen up there, eighteen down here. That stays eighteen as we move across. Because as soon as they gain these guys up here, they also gain these guys down here. So we'll go along the waterfront, collecting our eighteens. 
as our temple. Now, the good thing about having our temple means that we can now map out where we can and can't build around it. So, so we have to push him all the way up there. We don't have any more mansions at the moment to sort of place near him. He doesn't mind arcs though. So if we look at where we're wedging him sort of up this way, if we've got one of those long thin parks, we can fit it there. So great, we'll put that in there to up him by another. We lost money by doing that. Looks like that has pushed him out for just a little bit. That's stopping him from seeing uh, seeing the next run of guys across. So okay, he won't do that. Does he like fountains? Doesn't care about fountains. He loves shaman though. If we can get another shaman up there. Also loves masons. And potentially down here would actually be a bigger bigger winner if we could have a plateau that it's a wall hanging one. So this is a tricky one. So we're now having to we're now going to have to hold on to a few different things um, in hopes that we've got a bigger payday for them coming. Okay, so we can get 24 for him. It's out that way, we can get 28 for this guy. There. Take the 24. So what we can get for these guys. Yeah, not much. The layout area is uh it's really hurting their prospects. Get some good points up here with our parks. Hopefully we get another Resort Oasis soon. I think that's really what's going to save us in our uh, continuing build of huts. Now I'm going to take the walls because I know that the this guy likes them. Now, I can't build the walls really on uh, on his left. I'll try building one in this gap here as well just to see if it's thin enough that it doesn't negatively impact him. Perfect. So that's just a positive impact there. It does also look like there's enough room that I could possibly build one along this edge of him but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Good if we could get that guy just close enough to see the other one too but like we'll just get the one. Look at what we can get for the park. 14 on that edge. So if I was to build another resort oasis, it would sort of go, I guess, in here. So we don't want to get rid of the trees. I go 22, so I don't think he'd be that far down. And I'm going to keep going through my hearts. to like help push me through and see till we get get to a point where we land a real winner of a piece. Now if we can get this guy far enough that way that he can see the fields but can't see the windmill, he can do quite well for me, which will be the thing is that he likes quite likes industry as well. Even just down here I can get 27 for him. It's actually the better move. His resort oasis up there wouldn't like him, um, so we'll, we'll hold that spot up there in case we get a third one, I guess. Okay, the balloon. Balloon likes the resort oasis. He likes markets, towers, circuses. So you like towers, buddy? Have we got a spot for you? So there we can get all of that. And the other thing that we have is we still have another circus on hand. 
we can pick up another 15 for him if we can place that circus in a worthwhile spot somewhere in the zone that we're looking at now really the only spot's going to be over here um and we're not getting great great points for him so i think we're better off just taking the balloon and he's 70 as is well, let me just double check there's nothing else we already have statue tower market the market's the only other one but again i don't think that I don't think that there's any way that that's coming in anytime soon. Really disappointing how little I'm getting for my houses at this point. There's the 70 for him. Let's revisit this guy. So we can see where we can sort of line him up to say if we can get a house up here we're getting nothing for that house but this guy will like it and um, what we can do is we can put a wall up here and he'll like it we're still just doing things in the name of making the temple happier all right we'll go back to our huts Monument. Monument loves the temple, he loves the city center, and he loves parks and statues. So we'll have a look and see what we can get for him in our Okay, he hates all of that stuff, so it's definitely not gonna be a fan up there. Now, the problem is that I don't think that he'll actually fit next to the um, temple. Maybe he will out that side. It just sort of means that we can't um, can't build the temple any further further out this way but the what 20 he gets for the temple it definitely says that we want that's what we want to save that for which means that there's not really much room for anything else up here even yeah, I mean parks aren't getting anything anyway all right so let's uh let's place him in and then let's see if we can sneak the monument in next to him are going to be okay. Now, the Shaman could score me a surprise amount of money. Um, firstly, the houses on this side would be pretty happy if we put him over there, but he's only getting nine. There could be a lot of flowers somewhere on this island just we've not explored. It does not look to be the case, though. Okay. So we'll centralize him. Now, the, the, I think those guys like the Shaman, too. There will be a benefit to him being up this, this way. But we'll centralize him over here these houses become significantly happier as well. The water plateau. Guy's just going to be off the edge there, I guess. But he can't squeeze in. Real working within limitations here, I think. Uh, let's see if we can get these fields in anywhere of, of value. Three if they're there, but we can get them for six. We put them at this top end. A lot of this building up here is on the on the hope that we do get another oasis. Again, I don't want to build too far into this area just in case I'm, uh, I'm blocking him out. But it's also just a speculation at this point that we will even get one. Not really too much we can do there. Now, what do they like? They like plateaus. They like other mansions. 
So, I mean, we could use this to just sort of start to build them out. Even if there's no one else nearby, we can get, what, 20 for this. And then just something for them. Right. And we get three of them too. This is, a, this is our big mover and shaker moment here. Okay, so we want to put these in spots that they're not going to knock each other out. So we'll start off with one on that edge. There. And we'll go for this as our market. Let's see what we can get. We can get a nice 69 for that. Put a circus up there. He's, he's only getting 20, so he's not worthwhile. And there's something else that we could benefit from, I thought. No, alright, so... That market is just leaning into the city at the top as well. It does feel like a waste that there's more city this way that he could benefit from than where I've put him. So let's reverse that. Let's see if we can put him high. If he's big enough that he can... Or is that cutting the corner on there? No, doesn't like that one. Okay, we'll go this way. We'll put him as low as we can. Go mark it right there for 76. Now, this next wall plateau. We hopefully can go just not that much higher than him. Try there. 22. And I would have liked more, but how much does he get per house? He gets four per house. I don't have any houses that I can put with him at the moment. I mean, over here I can get 24 for him, so let's put him there. Ah. I can only undo one move. Whoops. Intention was that I was going to get rid of that, but that's okay. That's a pretty centralized wall plateau anyway. So we'll, um, we'll make it work. Now, these guys love sawmills. We'll have to factor that in when we're building those guys, I think. The other thing that we can now do is the houses really like the city centers, the shaman. Oh, they actually love shaman too. I'd probably look at giving them a few more shaman. Plateaus, walls, wall plateaus, statues. Fountains, parks, markets, towers, temples, and jewelry mansion. So we could try and up this guy all the way into basically being part of this um this corner here. Problem is they don't like they don't like walls, I believe. Yeah, they don't like walls. We don't want them on these edges where they can see the walls. They love being on the plateau, so make them happy for that at least. Got another one of these. They like being near a plateau too, so plateau wins again. Got a few trees over here. as well. So we'll start off with this guy on this edge and we'll put him get him down there down there and we'll line this guy up so that he can see all of them. So I mean strategically I could try and use that for, for part of my city over here which is already sort of scattered to the wind but the aim is I'm just going to try and use them as money makers for um, for their placement. So we'll go for just the easy ones of the huts. Got 
another warehouse. Get a nice wish for him being up there. Um, the only other option would be if we put him somewhere down here, but yeah, he's not getting much, anywhere near as much for that, so we'll take the 45 for him. And then we'll just... We can probably put something else back there. Can't get that much for the wall. Doesn't look like I've got any room up there to put that guy. Oh, these guys also like a fountain. Ten seems like a real bummer for these guys. You can see we're still a while off uh, getting to the end of the sky, so we're not really looking overly great, I'd actually say, at this point. I'm not confident. saying as happy as a shaman near a seaweed field. Now, I mean, for 22 points, at what point are we just giving up that we're, we're going to get a resort oasis here? That's where this becomes tricky. Because if we get one, can't put it up there, then that's almost signing our own death sentence. So ten points there, but what can we get if we just put him over here where it's just near stuff he likes? Yeah, that's some, some really nice placement. the sand, so we've got not much choice other than scoring three points for, for them. The same go for the fisherman. If we can get him close enough to at least see that up there. Doesn't look like we can. Although they do like the they like the huts. guys. Yeah, we're definitely getting skimp. I mean, I almost have to hold out for that Resort Oasis is the only thing that's possibly going to save us, I think. Now, because I've put that Shaman on there. Houses up here actually might be quite happy. We'll roll with that. And these guys like it too. guys take up a bit of real estate for how little sort of space I've got up here. The hard sell, I mean they do make good, if I could centralize them you can see they can make a fair bit of, of um, 
good money for me, but they aren't. The other tricky thing, though, with the parks is that the parks aren't benefiting from the existence of each other. They're only benefiting from the existence of the fields. So... Does make it tricky. I mean, I think that what I'm gonna have to do is just build. It doesn't sort of roll into a single field, does it? I just have to build these guys sort of separately down here, just as a, a field of fields, for the benefit of each other, and then have the parks benefit from being able to see them. Because again, I just want to hold on to that land at the top. I have an 11 there somewhere, though. Yeah. I was optimistic that I can fit these guys in somewhere, but. I seem to find they're not as thin as I expect. Just slowly whittling down us of this area here. What about down this end? I have 14 up there, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say if that's not a resort oasis on that one, that's probably <laughs> the end of the line. Take 17 for him. Edging out to get the 9. 9 for him too. 14. 15. And it's gonna have to be a monumental place, otherwise we are done. I think 15 is probably as good as I'm gonna get. Unless they sadistically like blocking in resort oases. Oases. There we go. That is our run of Islanders, done and dusted. Certainly a shame to, to see it come to an end, but uh, so we've got a picture mode so we can finish it off. Um, thanks for watching though, uh, that was certainly a lot of fun to play. Um, yeah, sad to see it to come to an end. I mean, for the most part, uh, not for the most part, for now I probably won't start a new series on that one. I've got plenty of other games in the works to to go and explore and it does open up a spot that I can can start playing something new um but yeah thanks for watching and until next time I'll, I'll catch you later see ya